Hey everybody, how are you? If you're here for the first time, my name is Shemaine Nugent and I am going to talk to you about how to de-stress. So as you jump in and write your comments, I'm gonna look for your comments and I would love to find out where you're watching from physically, ge geographically where you're watching from around the world, but also which modality. I'm, I'm broadcasting, I'm streaming live via Periscope, YouTube, and Facebook. So hey, Timothy Morrison. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Thanks, you guys, so much. And I'd love it if you could share this, too, because I am being suppressed. And it, it's just amazing. But that's what I, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about. Hey, Michael, I'm going to wait just a second while people jump in. And I'm noticing my shirt is like, there we go. Everything's backwards. Um, hey, Timothy. Hey, Michael. Hey, Deborah from Missouri. We've got Robert from Texas. And good afternoon, Mark. Hey, Tracy Simpson. Hey, Donna from Michigan. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Pauline from Chicago. Wow. We've got uh, P.E. Smith from Oklahoma. Hey, John Edwards. How are you? We've got uh, Valley Forge, Eric from Valley Forge, Roy from Michigan, Will. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. You guys are awesome. Um, Renee from Bama. I'm, I'm taking that to Bama. Hey, Jeffrey from Windsor, Illinois. Mark from Texas is here. Hey, Livonia, Michigan. Hey, Kevin Kowalski. My, kind of my old stomping grounds, but not really. I'm definitely familiar with Livonia, Michigan. I grew up in Mount Clemens, Michigan. And I worked at, uh, I managed a gym in Warren, Michigan. And I also did a fitness class, Nautilus Group One, that is somewhere, thank goodness, there was no, uh, or wasn't as, as much uh, media, social media or anything back then, because I did a workout, I think it was weekly, where I was in a thong leotard and leg warmers. <laughs> it's out there somewhere. Hey, Kimberly from Naples, Florida. That's my stomping grounds. I love it in Naples. I miss you guys. I need to get back there soon. Hey, Shane from Georgia. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Jumped in. Uh, that's awesome. Hey, Donnie from Massachusetts. All right, a lot of Facebookers here, a few Periscopers. I used to do Periscope when it first came out. How many, how many years ago was that? Syracuse, New York. Hey, Tim Donnelly, how are you? Steve from Connecticut. This is awesome. All right, guys. So I wanted to talk to you about de-stressing. I'm getting a lot of correspondence, a lot of emails, and a lot of people are asking, you know, everybody's overwhelmed. Everybody I know is overwhelmed. I knew very few people who are not feeling some form of anxiety right now. Suicides are on the rise. Depression is on the rise. People are not wanting to go to their doctor for regular treatments which they should be going for. And there's a lot of chaos and pandemonium in the world. Think of what we've gone through in just a few short months. Our whole world has been flipped upside down. Everything that we thought was real is not. And I want to talk to you a little bit about, a little bit about politics, but a little bit about how we got here. And then also some of the things that you can do to uh, to deal with anxiety and overwhelm. So it, it, a lot of people are very angry and upset about voter fraud and what is being done about it. If, if you look at this, no, it's not fair. I, there was a situation years ago, and I've talked about this before, where my son Rocco was on the swim team he was in, uh, he was seven years old and he swam in a novice swim meet. And I was a state champion swimmer when I was a kid. So of course I gave him some tips and in the novice swim meet, the rules were that you couldn't have participated in any swim meet ever. And they took a little bit extra time for the, the swimmers to get up on the starting blocks and, you know, they, they, they wanted to make sure that everybody was comfortable and they understood these little kids, so cute. So when the starter shot the starter gun and the kids took off, off the starting block, Rocco like creamed them. Rocco was amazing. I did give him some tips, 
but he did so well. There was absolutely no question he got first place. Absolutely undeniable. Anybody there, like he lapped a kid. And when it was time, it came time for us to pick up his trophy, it said Rocco Nugent, first place. And all the kids' names were listed and there was a trophy, second place, third place, fourth place, all that. Rocco Nugent, first place, no trophy. And we thought, well, there's gotta be something wrong. This is, this is a mistake. So <clears throat> we asked the powers that be at this YMCA, I believe it was in Kalamazoo, Michigan, we said, well, you know, Rocco got first and, oh, yeah, he was so good. But there's a problem. And we thought, what? You know, he didn't cheat. What's the problem? And long story short, we, we were brought into another office, a, a small office with the director of the YMCA at the time. And he said, well, the problem is Rocco swam too fast. And it wasn't fair to the other kids. Now, if you're a, a parent, you uh, just hearing that should make you upset. Can you imagine if that was your kid and you would fight for them? But here's the point and why I'm telling you this. Until something happens that is so unfair, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to stand up for what you know and believe is right. There's a book called Rules for Radicals. And uh, Hillary Clinton by Saul Alinsky, look it up, order it, read it, find out about it. Hillary Clinton did her thesis on that and on Saul Alinsky dedicated. This book is dedicated to Satan in the rules for radicals. What it talks about is basically how to overwhelm your opponent. You make up lies about them and you keep repeating them over and over and over and over and over and over. Are you sick and tired of hearing me saying that? until it's too difficult for anybody. The truth is buried and, and it, mainstream media is burying the truth. We know that those of us patriots who are trying to get this information out there, it feels like we're being pushed in a corner and we're going, this is so unfair. Why isn't anybody standing up for this? Where are the patriots? Where is everybody? The sad truth is, y'all, we allowed this to happen. We didn't think anything was wrong. We didn't stand up and voice our opinion when we saw little things like our kids uh, being treated unfairly at school or in soccer practices or whatever it is. And little, what happens is they, they took baby steps and suddenly our whole world was taken over. And we, we sit there and go, how did this happen? We allowed it to happen. We were asleep. A lot of us are calling this is the great, and Facebook is blocking, Jewel says. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are calling this the great awakening, and I do believe it is. It's bringing more and more people, and from the messages that I get from you, and from myself, I pray every every opportunity I can morning, noon, and night. So here's what I want to share with you. If you're feeling overwhelmed, I want to give you three tips or four tips on, on how to deal with overwhelm and cope with the stress of what's going on right now. We're awake now, are we not? We get what's going on and we don't like it one bit. I believe that this had to happen for many of us who were sitting back and going, oh, yeah, we didn't need to vote in the last election. Oh, yeah. I didn't need to step up and say anything when, you know, my kid wasn't treated fairly at school or there's there were restrictions or new uh, new things happening at school that we, our kids school that we didn't like or in our communities that we didn't like new rules and regulations that we didn't like. These are the baby steps that had to happen to get us to where we are now. Now we're angry. Now we're overwhelmed. So here, my goal in life is to change your life. In fact, I wrote, I wrote this book called Four Minutes to Happy. And incidentally, for anybody who wants it, it's available on Amazon.com. It does make a great Christmas gift. And 
If you want an autographed copy for whatever it's worth, you can email Old West Antiques at yahoo.com. If somebody could write that in the comment section, Old West Antiques at yahoo.com. Old West Antiques at yahoo.com. Okay, so here, here are the things that I've written about in this book and also things that I want to share with you on how to overcome anxiety. Like you, I have dealt with a lot of devastating situations, personal and professional in my life. And it doesn't, it isn't until we get pushed into the corner and we go, that's not fair. This is not fair that we finally wake up and stand up for what is right. So now that you're here, now that you're watching this, now that you're going, yes, this is me, I need to, what can I do? This, this is so crazy right now. I need to learn how to deal. Old West Antiques at Yahoo.com. Thank you so much, uh, Jason Brooks. Um, so here are a couple of things that you can do to deal with overwhelm and, and anxiety. You must, you must take care of yourself. You may have heard this before, but things could be get could be getting even more challenging in the days and weeks to come. We have heard from uh, California governor that they're going to lock down the state even more. There's word on the street that there could be martial law. What that means, I, we've never we've never dealt with that before, so we're not really sure what that's going to mean. But we see our freedoms being taken away from us one by one by one. And if you're watching this, you're probably on the same page as me. And you're thinking, what? Well, you know, if the masks work, why why is everything closing down? And I just posted a video by a, a woman who is in California and she went through great lengths and lots of money to create an, an outdoor dining area for the patrons of her restaurant. And then right next to it, there was a big movie, movie set catering set up for some uh, employees for what they call craft services on a, on a movie set. So basically it's okay for people like Governor Gavin Newsom and um, some other people to, to go to restaurants, but it's not okay for you and me and other people who wanna do that. Here's what you can do. We can't control all of that now. You're awake and this is a good thing. We've gotten to this point. So now what we need to do to move forward, you have to be healthy. You have to take care of yourself and put yourself first. So here are my four tips for dealing with overwhelm and becoming de-stressed. So number one, number one, you gotta avoid the triggers. If the news, watching the news is triggering you, we all know that we can't watch mainstream media, we can't watch even Fox News. Uh, watch OAN, that's One American News if you don't know by now, and Newsmax or don't watch TV at all, or watch some good movies. Number two, exercise every single day, exercise. I, I don't run a lot, I don't, I don't overdo it, but I try to fit in at least 20 minutes. And I try to challenge myself a couple of times a week where um, I, I got Peloton, and Peloton pays me nothing but I'm going to share with you as a fitness instructor for 40 years, why I like it. The number one cause of people not exercising is lack of motivation. And even I, as a fitness instructor, get that way from time to time. So what Peloton does for me is, and you can get this, there's also a great uh, dance workout company, not only Zumba, but also you can, you can go to YouTube and search shine dance fitness and i'm very critical of workout programs very critical i've seen everything come and go having been in the fitness industry for 40 years i trained with johnny g who created spinning i traveled all over the world uh, developing a program for zumba and teaching progr that program to zumba instructors all over the united states in paris in london in australia and had the time of my life. 
But the number one thing that I see is lack of motivation. What Peloton does and what a lot of these other uh, online programs do is they, I can go on Peloton and um, you can even just get the app. But I did purchase the Peloton bike and I can go online and I can uh, plug in, oh, I got 20 minutes. I got a 20 minute workout. So I, I find my favorite instructor, which is Robin, by the way, if you're into spinning on Peloton. I really like her. She's very motivational and she's got a lot of great phrases. So I plug in a 20 minute workout. The music is very important to me. So I've, I've got to get the right vibe. And then what I can do is I can see who else is doing the workout at the same time. And I can compare myself to other people. Now, there are times when I just don't want to. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. And I can tell you I'm not going to put up forth 100 percent effort. But on those couple of days a week when I say, yes, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go for it. I look at my age group and that's one of the things that I like. Why is this shirt like? OK, there we go. Um, I can find my age group and I can see who is doing the workout with me in my age group because there's no sense comparing myself to a 20 year old. Mm -mm. So I look in the over 50, although I'm 58, I could probably go toward the 60, 60th generation, 60th age group. But then I find out, OK, who can I compare myself to? And I it helps me stay motivated. And then I've got it, it also allows you to have your best workout and you can see, OK, the number. That's what I did. That's my best workout ever. Am I going to come close to it this time? Could I maybe surpass it? Maybe not today, maybe another day. So um, Shine Dance Fitness on YouTube and also Peloton. OK, number three. Number one, just to recap, avoid triggers. Number two, exercise every day. Find the thing that makes your heart sing and do it. Switch it up, uh, whether it's yoga or spinning or walking or Zumba or whatever it is. Do something, anything every single day, even if it's for five or 10 minutes, guys. OK, number two, find joy in the little things. I'm going to tell you what I did not find joy in today. So I walk in and uh, Ted had just come home and, and he was out and he, he goes out on the four wheeler and comes back in and comes in with the dogs and occasionally they're muddy. So I see Coco on the couch on my new blue leather couch. It's not leather. It's pleather. It's fake. Um, and we did have a sheet on it. So I walk by and I go, what is that smell? What's going on? And Ted goes, oh, yeah, I think Coco got into the this hog area. And y'all, it was bad. Ho Coco smelled like a, a pig. It was awful. She had it all over her legs. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Thank goodness in this new house, I've got a dog washroom. Someday I will sh I will show you what the I'll show you the details. I marched her down to the dog washroom, washed her and everything. I did not find joy in that. But what I did find joy in is I, I have to, in those little moments, I have to remind myself, I have the energy to wash my dog. I have a dog. I can afford dog food. I, you know, you can build upon those little things and somehow find joy this is funny. I'm talking about it to you now. It wasn't funny at the time, but now, you know, maybe somebody got got a joke out of this. So find joy in the little things whenever you can. Pet your dogs. Go for a walk. Look at funny pet videos. Watch my show, Simply Shemaine, that's on YouTube. And, okay, number four, the number four thing that you need to do to deal with, to cope with stress in this world right now and to deal with overwhelm is this is something that I'm going to do. Find gratitude. And every day I'm going to reach out to three people. And I, I encourage you. I want to I want to see from you guys post in the comment section. If you're watching this on Instagram, I, I don't know why StreamYard doesn't go to Instagram, but I'm hoping and praying that they will someday. I would love to see you all join with me and reach out to three people and tell them how grateful you are for them. 
And best is you could look them in the eye and tell them that, but just say, hey, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm grateful to have you in my life. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, and find something positive about them. I promise you, those four things will help you deal with overwhelm and cope with the stress that we're all dealing with right now. Okay, number three, Kevin Scholl. I'm going to go over it again. Number one is avoid the triggers. Number two, exercise every day. Number three, find joy wherever you can, even in the difficult times. And number two, gratitude. And I'm going to reach out to three people a day. Let's do this till Christmas. How about that? Three people a day and say thank you. Just say thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful to have you in my life. Okay? Who's with me? Raise your hand. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're with me. I promise you guys. Thank you, Lita Murray. I promise you uh, this will change your life. And again, um, I've written about this in my book, Four Minutes to Happy. If you would like, maybe it's a good Christmas gift. It's a, it's a quick read. It's little things you can do in the pockets of your time, tips and tricks that will change your life in, in four minutes a day. You can get an autographed copy by emailing oldwestantiques at yahoo.com, oldwestantiques at yahoo.com. Thank you, Jason Brooks, Blonde's Rule. And um, you guys, every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, my show, Simply Shemaine, is on Facebook at facebook.com slash shemaine.nugent. A lot of people have been asking me about Parlor. I am on Parlor. I'd love to try and get on Rumble, but it's it's just me, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to do everything. All right, I'm going to open it up for some questions. If you guys have any questions, and um, take just a minute to say hello to people. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I wanted to uh, also shout out to my friend, Alvy Shepard, who had a devastating loss recently, lost his wife to cancer. And uh, Alvy, I'm grateful for you. And I'm just praying for you and your family. He's always had such a positive spirit. And I, I've seen a couple of posts of his uh, recently, even Thanksgiving. And uh, he's had such a positive, positive spirit. And I love that about him. So, all right, guys, um, just taking a minute to check on some of your comments. Thank you, Linda. Good. I'm so glad for renewed strength. Uh, Elizabeth, um, you're not alone. It's planned because it's Agenda 21. Yes, look into Agenda 21. Someday I'll get really political. Um, no matter what, it's just, no matter what, if it's just you and you woke up and still alive and be grateful. Absolutely. Hey, D. Delac, um, watching from Periscope. So I don't know, um, uh, about martial law. I don't think anybody knows. Um, shalom, shalom and blessings to you, James. I, I don't know what is the biggest buck you've ever killed. Oh gosh, I don't know. Maybe a 150. I don't know. Um, okay, thanks, Shemaine. Prayers for to Ted and you. Um, oh, Sherry, thank you for bringing that up. Sherry Wilson says, "Do you have a, Do you use essential oils?" Absolutely, absolutely. I use essential oils. In fact, I, I got them going right now. I I need uh, thieves. I need more thieves. If you guys know what I mean. Um, uh, Young Living, and also uh, wanted to give a shout out to Isogenics. I uh, also want to mention that uh, Isogenics has essential oils. I've been taking Isogenics vitamins for years. I believe you can go to um, shemainnugent.isogenics.com and maybe I'll post something about that because those vitamins have saved my life saved my life, changed my life. I used to suffer from migraines and I don't anymore. And I attribute that to isogenics, although we cannot claim that that will do the same for you. It's just my experience. Okay, Gina, um, hey from College Station, how are you? Um, this COVID was placed in senior homes because, yeah. Hey, Thelma, Ted for president, I love it, Shemaine. Thank you so much, Debbie. Um, uh, love Thieves, it's my favorite. Yes, I love Thieves too. 
thank you so much, Bradley. Very kind words. Um, what do you and Ted normally have for Christmas? For for yeah, venison pretty much, but he likes a leg of lamb. He likes like leg of lamb. If you guys want to see an interesting show, if you're if you're bored and you want to, this this brings up a leg of lamb. So years ago, actually 18 years ago on YouTube, if you search YouTube on my channel, Shemaine, S-H-E-M-A-N-E, it's just youtube.com slash Shemaine. And you search amidst YouTube for Queen of the Forest. I did a reality show that I think it's only like half an hour long, something like that, maybe less than an hour. And I took women who hunt and women who don't hunt and I paired them together because the only way that you can really understand something is to experience it for yourself. And I'm, I'm not going to give it away. You'll have to watch it. But a, the topic of a leg of lamb comes up amongst the hunters. And I would love to see. Well, report back to me and see if you watch that um, because it, it's quite interesting. Okay, um, got anything for sci sciatic nerve? So yeah, uh, nerve damage is, is a big thing. And I, I have something called ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis, look it up. A-N-K-Y, L-O-S-I-N-G, spondylitis. I don't know, something like that. So... Um, it's a degenerative disease. And um, the reason I bring that up is because whenever you have like back pain or nerve damage, boy, it can ruin your day, can it? For me, I have to exercise every day. If I don't, I'm in horrible, severe pain. And again, I don't overdo it, especially now that I'm 58. I have to watch it. But uh, because I'll get exercise induced migraines if I work out too hard. So um, check that out. Um, side stretches where you twist your back and you cross one, let one knee over, that helps a lot. Going to the chiro chiropractor helps a lot. Massages help a lot. I just got one yesterday at the mall. <laughs> hey, they know what they're doing. Okay. Um, I, um, you guys, the comments are great here. I'm going to keep going. I'm, I'm, hey, Tina Maroney. Okay. Tina Maroney is on here and she was in queen of the forest. So I had a 501c3, uh, organization, uh, nonprofit organization called queen of the forest. Tina Maroney was in that program. She's on here right now. Everybody give her a shout out. She's watching via Facebook and she said, we've got to do another one. Michigan or Texas, whichever. We should because uh, I did an interview. I'm doing more podcasts for other people. And I did one a couple days ago. And this woman that I was that was interviewing me, I'll post it here. Her name was Pam. She said, I, I want to learn how to hunt. I want to want to learn about that. Hunting is not for everybody. But you can't tell me you're not interested, especially knowing that grocery store items might not be available, that they're limiting meat products. One thing's for sure, we're never going to starve. I mean, we, we're never going to starve. So, okay. Mick Mars from, from Motley Crue has that, ankylosing spondylitis, does he? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, you're st I am not a spring chicken, Thomas. I am far from it. 58. But you know what? I don't really care. I you know, it's funny because people have said, do you mind if I say how old you are? No, I'm proud of it. I'm I'm getting gray hairs, lots of them. Not getting, I have them. And I'm actually really close to, to letting it just, letting it all happen. Ted's bugging me too. And I'm proud, you know, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of how old I am and, and that I've survived this long. Okay. Hey, Carla, um, love your shows. Thank you for doing all you do for hunters in Michigan. We love you and you really are the first lady of Michigan. Thank you so much. You know, people have said, have asked Ted to, to run for governor of Michigan or Texas. Boy, does Michigan need it, huh? And there's a lot of things that I would do too. Like, here's the problem. What the Democrats do, 
And again, if you're just joining, go back to the beginning. And, and I talked about a book called Rules for Radicals. Look it up. And this is on their agenda. What they do and what they're doing, they prevent good people from getting into politics. The only reason why Ted wouldn't is that they would destroy us. And he's not as concerned about him as he is about me. And they would. They would absolutely destroy us and I've really I've done really good I've grown really thick skin it, you hate Heather Delek um, used to be that people would the hate that I got from posting hunting photos or when I visited the president at the White House and posted a photo of us in the Oval Office and I got I got hate, so much hate mail and even death threats I cried I literally cried for days I don't really care anymore y'all I don't care <laughs> I'm not saying bring it on because I will delete you, but what, isn't that a shame? Who are these people? You know, and thank you guys so much for standing up for me and standing up for Ted and standing up for those, those of us patriots who are putting ourselves on the line and at the risk of losing everything. Fortunately, you know, if you think about it, and I'm over on parlor and somebody said, where's Ted? Why isn't he over on parlor? Well, you know, we don't have a whole team of people. He does. He's got a few people. We're trying the best that we can to, to get out there and to get this information out there. So we appreciate each and every one of you being here. We appreciate your support. Honestly, guys, if each and every one of you would share this 10 times with 10 people, how about a couple? How about three? Um, it would really make a difference. So let's let's get this information out, this positive information. And uh, just to recap, I'm going to let you go now. You guys are busy. Just to recap, I was talking about the four things that you can do to cope with stress, cope with the overwhelming stress that you have right now. Number one, avoid the triggers. Number two, exercise every day. Number three, find joy in the little things, even if it's washing off your poopy dog. Number two, be grateful, find gratitude, uh, three people a day now until Christmas, three people a day, reach out and just say, Hey, thank you. And, and try to compliment them on something. I bet you it will change their lives and yours as well. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being here. I love you. I really do. I'm grateful for you. Does that, is that my three? I'm going to, okay. I'm going to reach out three people right now that don't know that I'm going to say I'm grateful too. Okay. Um, okay. Chris, Chris Lenny uh, Kowalkowski. I am grateful for you. I am so grateful for you. And if nobody told you lately, you're awesome, Chris. You are awesome. Keep your chin up and take a deep breath, exercise, eat right, take care of your body, mind, and spirit. All right. Gary Stuckey, I'm reaching out to you. You're my number two person, Gary Stuckey. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for always being here. If nobody's told you lately, Gary, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And one more, because her name is similar to mine, Charmaine. Um, Cataret? Charmaine? Charmaine? I always get called, not always, but a lot of times, Charmaine. Charmaine. Cataret? C-A-D-O-R-E-T-T-E. -E. You are amazing, Charmaine. You are awesome. You are the light that people need to see shine. So keep shining your light. Keep yourself, your body, mind, and spirit healthy. All right. There's my three people for the day. Yay. All right, guys. Love you so much. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget, share this. Let's spread the joy. Let's spread the love. And let's stay healthy and happy. All right. Thanks so much for being here. See you next time. Don't forget, if you want an autographed copy of my book, Four Minutes to Happy, you can go to oldwestantiques at yahoo.com. You can email oldwestantiques at yahoo.com for an autographed copy, or you can just go to amazon.com and purchase one. All right, guys, have a great day. Make it a great day. Do something healthy and happy for you today. Bye.